if we eat toxic seafood often. We are here to tell you that marine pollution is in the oceans and seawater covers 70% of the world, so marine pollution is a big problem. One of the ways that marine pollution has been continuously harming marine animals is because of microplastics. Microplastics are plastics that have been in the oceans for a long time, so it's dissolved into smaller pieces. As an example of how microplastics are harming marine animals is if the bobbit worm eats seagrass, which has microplastics in it because the microplastics uh, fall onto the seagrass, and then the squid eats the bobbit worm, and then the salmon eats the squid, the salmon has eaten the microplastics on the seagrass by eating the squid that ate the bobbit worm. And then after that, we eat the salmon, so we ate the microplastic, which can be sick, t which can lead to a lot of human sickness. There is still hope that marine pollution will decrease if we help by cleaning up beach beaches, stop littering, and use less plastics. <coughs> We've been investigating how marine pollution is caused by humans and how it impacts life on Earth. It is extremely important to do things that doesn't harm marine life because it can have toxins in it. Plastic can have toxins in it. To be more specific, microplastic. So now marine pollution is a big problem and we actually have to find a way to solve it. We have all probably been littering, even if it has been by an accident. Our current world population is 7.7 .7 billion people around the world. And if everyone would litter, that would be a lot of littering. Microplastic is dangerous. A single piece of microplastic can cause a serious risk of human sickness. Marine pollution, marine pollution is rapidly increasing, increasing every year. 
We've been researching and gathering data on the countries who contribute in marine pollution. It has been said that China and most of Southeast Asia has been contributing in marine pollution. Also, the majority of marine pollution in the ocean comes from China and most of Southeast Asia, including us. Marine pollution continues to create plenty of consequences for us, such as we won't have safe and sustainable oceans for us to fish seafood, so we won't be able to eat seafood safely. And according to scientists' research, they say that by 2020, there could be more plastics in the oceans than marine animals. We got a chance to go to Satahip, and Satahip has all the trash. So we took the chance to go to collect trash. I went diving, and the first dive I did, it's a very strong current dive. But in a strong current place like this, there's still trash. Because the trash is stuck with a shipwreck and objects in the ocean. The second dive is a very, sh very shallow dive, not over eight meters. After all of the dive I did that day, I came back at the beach and collect trash my group mates. Underwater, I collected about five kilos of trash. But at the beach, we collected over 26 kilos of trash. These kind of action can help solve marine pollution. Our action is a very easy thing you can do this weekend. All you have to do is collect trash for 20 min minutes at the beach, record yourself doing it, post it on social media using the hashtag beach cleanup sign, and get your friends and family doing it too. Our video has been viewed over 5,000 times around the world. In a school in the Philippines, they showed this video to the whole school in the morning assembly. This is the QR code you can scan to get to our video, or you can get, take a picture of it to watch it later. The reason that marine pollution has been rapidly increasing is because of the solid waste that we produce and use each day usually find their ways to the oceans or some people who don't know what marine pollution is or don't care about marine pollution litter into the oceans and create marine pollution. This can be harmful to marine animals such as turtles because if a sea turtle eats a plastic bag which they think is jellyfish, they will feel full but they're not so then they actually starve to death. Plastic pollution is the main source of marine pollution because 18 billion pounds of plastic waste is in the oceans right now. Kay, Neil, and I went to a turtle conservation center Th that the Thai Royal Navy are protecting. They said that in the month of June, they have found two sea turtles tangled in fishing nets. So now, I learned that marine pollution isn't just harmful like, like, up, like from, the little, from the little animals to up to the food chain, but it can also instantly kill animals. When Kay, Meg, and I went to the beach to do a beach cleanup, we found four little fish dead at the beach. I tried to open the belly, but I could not. So I opened its mouth, and there was a piece of plastic. And this showed me that plastic can impact humans and marine life, and can cause death or diseases, and I believe that and can get into our seafood easily. And I believe that all of you has been eating seafood before. So all of you has a chance of getting diseases like cancer, diarrhea, rashes, heart disease, Parkinson's disease, reproductive problem, nervous system damage, kidney damage, and a lot more. From the research that and personal stories that we have just talked about, we can clearly see that plastic pollution is the largest source of marine pollution. In the Chinese section that we're going to talk about in a moment, we will talk about some simple ways to reduce plastic waste in our daily lives. Su 它使用起来和塑料少只是一样方便，但是它更环保，不会污染环境。这个发明告诉我们，我们可以用植物来制造可以降解的生活用品。这是在泰国有的塑料瓶回收机器，这个机器你塑料瓶一个一个的放进去以
，体系体系上会告诉你你可以换到多少钱，每十个塑料瓶可以换到一株，这样我们就可以回收塑料垃圾了。在生活中，你们怎样减少垃圾呢？我们。塑料袋，我们每天都用它。我们怎么，我们可以重重复用它？我们也，我们怎么知道怎么减少塑料袋呢？我们可以就重重复用它，还是或者用布袋、纸袋、自己的袋子来装东西，代替塑料袋。我们怎么减少塑料瓶呢？我们可以用玻璃瓶或者金属瓶来代替，因为它们可以用很多次。我们去去学习或者工作。的时候就可以用它们，这样我们就减少了很多的塑料瓶了。我们去野餐的时候，可以拿自己的餐具吃，不用一次性的餐具。我们去餐厅买饭菜吃的时候，我们就可以用自己的饭盒或者用环保的饭盒。From the Chinese section that we just talked about, now you know that it's not difficult to help solve marine pollution. If everyone has our environmental awareness, we can just help solve and think of new ways to solve it. There are brave marine pollution organizations around the world, such as Greenpeace and Oceana, who are trying to solve this conflict like we are. You can donate to them to help, or you can do our challenges said earlier. Now you know how eating toxins, but it doesn't need to be this way forever. If everyone just pick up just one piece of trash, this will affect everything in the world. When you help marine animal, you help yourself and the world. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.